Hey friends, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yoso Boho. Hello. It is Tuesday and this week we are going to do some shopping with my Aunt Beth. We are going to do some garage sale shopping, some yard sale shopping. And then Thursday we're going to end the day at a little vintage shop that we found near where these garage sales were and the Mayfield Heights Goodwill. I'm gonna go back there because I had such a wonderful trip the last time we were there when I found the Ray Harm bird painting. So we were kind of near there. We ended our day together there and then headed home our separate ways. So that's what this week looks like. So if you like to go garage sale shopping, that's what we're doing today. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with garage sale shopping. I know a lot of resellers out there record themselves going to sales and finding amazing things that they flip and make great money on. Me, not so much. <laughs> uh, a couple of reasons. One, I don't wear a GoPro on my chest. I use my phone. So it's, it's not as obvious maybe that I'm recording when I'm just holding my phone as somebody maybe with a GoPro. Um, but I'm very careful. I don't want to capture anybody's house numbers. I don't want to capture their face. Um, I'm just very careful about that kind of stuff. And then second, I feel very strange about looking stuff up right at somebody's yard sale. The thing about going and thrifting in a Goodwill is I will get out my phone and I will look something up and it could be something that is a dollar or two dollars. I want to know if it's worth putting in my cart <laughs> because I want to be intentional when I shop. I'm in a different situation in somebody's yard sale or garage sale because it may only be a dollar but I just don't want to pick it up if it's not something that I have intention for if it's going to resell and the problem with that is if I'm that person and it's my garage sale I'd be like dude it's just a dollar <laughs> just take it um they have a different mission than I have and so that's why you don't see me doing a lot of garage sales the third thing about it is I'm recording and I get to see everything that I missed <laughs> now this happens in the thrift shops a lot where I'm scanning a shelf and I'll notice something that I didn't notice when I was standing right there in front of it and I'll go back and I'll look it up and I'll say oh my gosh I should have picked that up. Um, you see that sometimes in my videos where I say oh I should have grabbed that um, but at a garage sale because I'm not usually running comps it's torturous to <laughs> see later when I pass up on something that was worth money especially when it was only you know a dollar or five dollars and you're gonna see that in today's video there's a couple of things that as I'm editing I'm looking up and I'm just uh, one of them's big like a big deal that I missed out on but it's gonna happen you know because that's how I function at these sales now if I decide to get a GoPro and I can use my phone and feel brave enough on somebody's property to look stuff up and shop that way, maybe it would be different. <laughs> but it probably won't ever be that way with me. I just don't think that's me. I just don't think I function that way. So today, for your viewing pleasure, some yard sales and garage sales. Let's go see what we found on this day in the Chagrin Falls area of Ohio. Let's go. Morning. Good, how are you? That little table's kind of nice. That one? Yeah. That one's nice. Oh, I see something I like. I see a big bunny. The bunnies I've had. The bunny. Oh. But he's like that um, hollow resin. Yeah, I like the frog, but he's real lightweight. Yeah. What the? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, There's it's so of those. cute. They're adorable. They're little sisal heads. On pine cones. On pine cones. Cute. Ooh, what's that? I see some pottery. That's neat. Look at the color on that. Uh -huh. Looks like it might be signed up in there. Mm, maybe. Uh, you think? I see some scratching, scratching. 
got a little, little chippy. Cute too. Birds, he looks like he's marble. Yeah, he's very heavy, but his tail's his chipped. tail's chippied up. Oh my gosh, these guys. Five dollars for the three. Oh. Okay, pin cushion. Think pin cushion. Really? Where you put oh. it? You put <laughs> it in his butt. It looks like it could be. Oh no. That's not good. What'd you find? Converter plugs. Oh yeah, you'll need those. This one says China. Yeah, you'll need that. Yeah. I had a pack. Five I, years ago, I was I gonna say I probably still have a pack, but who knows where? Right. Strike out for me. Score one for you. What what uh, did you pay for your? Three dollars. Three bucks. Ooh, here. What you find? I made 25 cents at this sale. <laughs> no? <laughs> so this sale was supposed to be from eight to one. And then there's another community sale down the road that's from nine till three or four. But 20 sales in this area. I think we got bamboozled. We're not cars seeing. up here. Oh, cars. Cars are a good sign. See a black squirrel. Squirrel. Good morning. Hi. Wooden cigar boxes. <laughs> I'm not crafty enough. Trading card album. Well, that's American interesting. Girls. I don't know anything about American girls. Tins, look at all the tins. How fun, that's a cool little collection. Avon. Like that one. Barrett wear. Oh yeah, that one's cool. I'll take that one. These little houses are kind of cool. You have a little city. Queen Mary's doll. I'm gonna pick up this one because I love the. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look at that. My first purchase, and yes, I missed out on those other tins, um, especially that one. I think it probably would have been a fifty-dollar tin. And it was Avon. <laughs> Who would have thought an Avon tin would be worth that kind of money? Um, but I'm happy with this one. It's beautiful. I love these Barrett wear because they have these really cool tops to them. This little knob here is also tin and in a really cool kind of geometric. And the art on here is so great. It's got different birds on it. Love that. It's just a nice piece, so I grabbed it. And I probably should have grabbed the rest. <laughs> it's 75 cents a piece. But like I said in the opening here, I shop with intent. I need to know, you know, that this is something that will sell and this will sell. One of y'all probably will reach out about this in fact. If not, I can throw this up on eBay. I do really good with tins on eBay. One of these currently listed and it's listed for almost $40. It's the only one that I saw that's listed but I think probably something in the $30 range will be fair for this on eBay and something a little lower than that for a friend or a viewer. So that was our first crab. I see a couple of Serapis. What's the thing on the other side? I like that. It's like a little rug. Wow, look at all the big pots. I don't need one, but man. Good morning. Good morning. 
Aww. He has some damage, but he's cool. Copyright the Dewey Studio. Who? The Dewey. The Dewey. The Dewey. Oh, the Dewey. Not the Dewey. The Dewey. It's cute. Look at that cat. This was the big miss. Check out the prices you can get for this cat on eBay. There were eight listed and six sold. So pretty decent sell through rate too. He's like a happy oh, snoozing oh, cat. He's cute. Very cute. Look at this little box over here. I was peeping when you pointed out the table. Ooh. Yeah. He would be a very unique addition to my cat collection. Yes. He's handmade. By Padui. <laughs> By Padui. Ooh, speaking of Padui, I see Padilla. Oh. We'll scoop those. We're just gonna pretend like the Dewey Studio cat did not exist. <laughs> Cause that is something that, um, <sighs> it was only $5. It was made out of pottery. Amy loves pottery, Amy loves cats. Why didn't she pick it up and just look it up later? The world will never know, but it is what it is. And somebody probably grabbed it and put it on a shelf and didn't even look it up. And that's fine because it'll live somewhere and somebody will love it. <laughs> um, I won't have the 200 plus dollars, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway, this was my first grab at that sale. And it is a set of Rodolfo Padilla mugs. These are still being made today. You can actually, I think, custom order them. They are made to stack like this and these stands are specifically made for these mugs so that they can stack. You can get six. I'm not sure if you can get eight, but you can get, you know, other bigger sets. These are signed on the back. I believe they're stamped. This is going to be hard to see because it's red with blue on top of it, but that says Padilla and yeah, they're made in uh, Tlacopaki, Mexico. That's where this artist resides and they are gorgeous. I have a set, I have a four set in my cupboard. They are a light wash with like a blue and a cream. And now I have a choice. <laughs> do I want these or do I want those? I think I like the ones in my cupboard just because they were my first set that I ever found. Um, but yeah, I picked these up for $8. They should sell somewhere between $35 and $45, so right around $40. Bucks. It's a pretty good flip for an $8 find. I see another piece of pottery. Which one are you looking at? This one? Are you looking at the Tonala? No, I was looking at this one. Oh, well, there's a piece of Tonala right there, too. Uh, but I was looking at this one. Oh, that's cool, too. What does that say? There. Jack Mason. Stone Mountain. What is that? I want to see that. Yeah, it's been repaired. That's cool. That's neat. There's a Buckeye Burl. Pepper Mill. It says Buckeye Burl. That doesn't have a price either. Do you have a price on the pepper mill? Five bucks. Okay. It's pretty neat. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. This may be the most gorgeous pepper mill I've ever seen. It was created by Jim and Linda Smith in St. Petersburg, Florida. This is their little information that came with it. The pepper mill store. So it looks like they have won competitions for their woodwork. Brand new, never used, still has its little tag. And I have no idea what the price of this would be. 
I'm only seeing them sold like on Etsy and some of them are priced very, very high, especially this size. This is like a 10 inch. Probably gonna put it on eBay, but yeah, I'll have to do a little bit more research so that I price it right when I put it on eBay, but that's where it's gonna go. If I had an Etsy store, it would go to Etsy, but I don't. <laughs> I just have an eBay store. So we'll put it on eBay. I'll put a nice, good, hefty price on it and somebody will probably make me an offer but there's just not a lot of these kind of things listed on eBay. So it might stand out. Who knows? What is that? Is that a pole stick? It's a putter. Oh, a putter. Okay. Yeah, I see the top of it now. Yeah. That's fancy. Yeah. Make a good Father's Day gift for a golfer. Yeah, it would. Does your dad golf anymore? Um, I don't think he's golfed in years. Yeah. I think maybe when his knees got bad, he kind of stopped. Yeah. She's cute. Aww. I think he's... Probably worth picking up for three bucks. When I first found this guy, I just kept thinking Beaumont Brothers. I couldn't remember Eldrith. But yeah, this is an Eldrith pottery ornament. Very nice salt glaze piece. Is not signed, but I knew by the quality of it that it was one of those um, pottery makers. And yeah, sure enough, it is Eldrith. It looks like he's worth probably 30 to $35. For that little piece but that's the kind of uh, money that eldrith pottery demands so keep an eye out for that blue salt glaze because yeah it's worth some money they're like bear claws yeah This is a fun find and I'm half tempted to put some cream in it and make some butter, but then it's not new and I wanna sell it. So I'd rather sell it new. It is a Kilner butter churn, brand new with all of its information. Still sealed here, you can see across the top there. So never used, $5 and it looks like I should, in brand new condition like this, get about $40 for it. So if you see these, Pick them up. That's the community right back there that we are garage sailing in. Some lakefront houses. So there's probably nothing up in here, huh? Is this like the, the golf, course. golf course? It looks like it. Oh yeah, now we're in the golf course. We'll have to turn around, but we got to see the lake. It's so pretty back in here. Oh, there's the tennis courts. We just met some really nice people and I bought a few pieces of jewelry. Look at what Beth buys. <laughs> in comparison <laughs> rusty crusty things these houses are the ones that are right on the lake and they're so beautiful all right I'm gonna throw this in the car and go down there there was a lady who I think it was her friend's sale but she just set up one little table with some jewelry on it everything on her table was a dollar she had a couple of things on the table that I picked up one is this hat pin it's a little bent. I probably did that. It's not silver, I tested it, but it's got these really cool beads on it. I have lots of hats, so I could probably maybe adorn one. That might be cool. Or I'll sell it. <laughs> this piece is neat. She said she picked this up in Sedona, and if you've been to Sedona, you know that there's a lot of jewelry shops there and they sell a lot of natural stone things and crystals, um, things that they say, you know, have spirituality to them. Sedona itself is very spiritual, but this one I think needs a clasp of some kind. Unless this is supposed to attach, I'm not sure. The wire is very stiff, so it could maybe just clutch like that. I don't know. Um, but it's beautiful. I'll probably sell it maybe in one of my lives. I think somebody will love that. And then I grabbed a pair of earrings that looked really similar. If they're not from the same place, they look like they would have been. 
And they're also stone. They just have a very similar kind of feel to them with the gray and the black. Picked up a pair of silver earrings. They are not marked, but I did test them and they did test for silver. So that's nice. Little hoops for a dollar. And then this was kind of cool. It's not signed, but it's older. You can tell by the little clasp on the back. And it has a very cool look to it with this little bobble, little geometric. I just thought that was neat. And I think the 80s are definitely coming back. So I think somebody will like that little artistic piece for sure. And those are the pieces that I bought from her. I picked up five pieces. So I spent $5 with her and I thought that was a great little value. He was saving it for some reason. Ones. You got two of these earlier, so yep. I guess it's my turn. Your turn to pick those. Yeah, I guess so. Look at this. Is this what they That's a called? planer. A little yep. planer? Yeah. It's a planer. It's a That's worth something. Sharp. I don't know where you get that chalk line. Chalk line? Yeah. I picked up a chalk line somewhere. It was, yeah. it was Any round. idea? Well, this might be wire. That's what you pull teeth uh -huh. out. You pull, you pull I, I asked teeth my out. wife. She's a dental lady. She goes, no, those aren't. It's like <laughs> nutcrackers. Maybe before her time. A nut, nutcracker. Don't, don't you think maybe, yeah. yeah. She thought it was for Antique. tooth pullers. You could, I don't pull. know. You could pull. Well, actually, when they pull a tooth, it's more of a straight, in, a straight instrument to loosen the tooth first. It doesn't have those little teeth. No. Little like a needle nose. No. Chompers for your it's chompers. It's similar to once they grab it to pull it out, but it, I don't think they can get it. Um, there's that old computer That's a pipe cutter. I recognize that. Uh -huh. Which one? It's down on the floor. Now that one, I think we'll just see if anybody wants it. I have bought some of these in the past. In fact, I got a small lot of them and they make amazing little displays where you can put some photos or some postcards, um, some older ephemera up in here and they just look cool. And there are two of them. This one has a little bit more age than this one did. So a dollar a piece. And then this is something that my Aunt Beth would pick up. This is a wood plane. So it's a tool used in wood making. There's a blade right there and it basically shaves the wood. This is just a small one. I think it's made by Miller's Falls. Yes, Miller's Falls. And it says it's a 206. When I look these up, it seems that they sell used like this for something in the 18 to $20 range. I paid three, so again, $5 for that sale. <laughs> Earth's nephew and niece introduced me to Bluey. Actually, his brother loves the cartoon and watches it with them and sings the songs and it's hilarious. So Bluey, I think is Australian and this is an animated dancing, talking, um, Bluey. <laughs> if you find him new in the box, he's probably worth about $35 in pre-owned condition like this, like half or less, probably 15 to $18. He's really popular right now though. So I think I'll probably put him over in the booth and put, you know, $16 on him and somebody will grab him. Is that pot are you right there? No, that's signed. Look at that. That looks like a watering can, yeah. not a teapot. That's kind of really sloppy. It's not really well glazed. My gosh. Yeah, it's missing some glaze underneath. Look at that. Uh -huh. <laughs> that doesn't look like a teapot. That's such a good deal for that though. These are nice. I wonder if it's somebody's early work. Are these like little kitchen towels? They are. Cute. Little Tea towels. Embroidery. Yep. Probably machine done. Yeah. What is that? What's going on there? <laughs> little 
cross stitch. Oh, this is kind of cute. 3D. 3D with the mushrooms and the little bird. Oh, that's Henri. Yeah, but they've got it for a buck. Oh. Yeah, I'll take oh. it for a buck. It looks like maybe somebody paid $21 for that on eBay. These run around 12 to 15. They're absolutely adorable though. Look at all the little details in there. The little bird, little mushrooms. I'll probably put this in a future sale because I think somebody here will have a place for it on their wall. That's some pottery. You don't want the mums? Find that stamped. What? Look at that huge picture. Uh -huh. My gosh. Maybe that signed. That's got some little on it. Wow. That's neat. Mm -hmm. Look at the old KitchenAid. Oh, wow. This lady likes her pottery, too. Yeah. That's unsigned as well. Neat colors though. What is that? Is that fused glass on top there? Euro ceramica made in Turkey. So they're saying that there's a red hawk up in there somewhere making that racket. So I'm not a fan, yeah. Not a fan. She wants 10 for all. It's not bad. No. That's pretty. Yeah, she said five on that alone. So, five for the other set makes sense too. I keep joking, no more sugar and creamers. <laughs> I keep picking them up. And with a set that looks like that, how could you not? Um, I can't read the signature. It looks like maybe a G backed up to a P with a D over top of it. <laughs> I don't know. Or it's a little man, I have no idea. How do we get these uh, pottery makers to sign their stuff better? Um, I'll have to do a little bit more research to figure out what this set is, but it's absolutely stunning. I love both pieces. Um, I do not display a sugar and creamer, but if I was going to, it would be something like this. That's for sure. They're phenomenal. And then this piece, talk about phenomenal. Look at the colors on this. The kind of pastels, the purples and blues. Just stunning. This is made by Carol Burhorst. Did a little bit of research on her. She's kind of a local. Um, there are several pieces of hers listed on eBay. This piece is probably in the $25 to $30 range as far as value is concerned. Maybe I will bring them both to a future sale. All right, so those are the things that I found at the yard sales. Wish I would have grabbed that Dewey Studios cat, but Wah, wah. <laughs> Next time, maybe I will know better and I will take a little bit more time. So we will wrap up this trip on Thursday. We're going to go to this small shop. Most things there were retail, but I found a couple of really great things. And then we end our day on Thursday over at the Mayfield Heights Goodwill. And that is also a great trip. So I look forward to bringing that to you on Thursday. Until Thursday, please take care of yourself. I'll see you then. Thank you.